Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, something you can do with some complex numbers. So for this problem we're supposed to find all the values of the indicated root and our indicated root is this here. Um, and we have our handy dandy formula here that we're going to be using that'll help us out. Um, so our the root we're taking is the fifth root of i, and i, of course, is the square root of negative 1. But um, we can also write it as, um, you know, 1 times e to the i times pi over 2. And this form is going to help us out a lot um, with this problem here. So according to our formula here, uh, if we want to take the fifth root of i, then we simply write it as, you know, in this form here, also keep in mind that this here um, since this is circular, um, it repeats every 2 pi times some k that is an integer. So when we rewrite this, the 1, nothing happens to it because the a 1 to any power is 1. So we have e to the um, e to the i we're rewriting this and dividing it by the root which is 5. So continuing this on uh, underneath here that leaves us with pi over 10 times 2 pi over 5 times k. And I'm also going to rewrite this uh, into an easier form for us to deal with. e to the pi i 1 plus 4k over 10. So and then we just have to do this for different values of our k. So our first value is so the or yeah our first value makes this part one over ten, so that is equivalent to a twentieth of the way around the circle. So this is our first root. The next one is five over ten, which is pi over two which gives us this here. Our next one is uh, 9 pi over 10, which is almost half of a circle. And then our next one is 13 pi over 10. And then our last one is 17 pi over 10. Well, yeah. So if you look, they this forms a pentagon, which is uh, not a coincidence. But in order to find the components of these, we need to plug these into our handy dandy radians calculator here and find the cosine and sine of these different angles. Zero point nine five one and zero point three oh nine. 
of course, this one is 0, 1. Uh, we could have figured out what this was by looking at the other one, but the calculations support it. That is simply the negative x value and the same y value. This one here is a negative. Well, that rounds up to an eight and negative 0 0.809. And then this one is going to be the same thing, but once again, uh, with the X component flipped. And this answers our question. Thank you very much for watching.